You uh, working again? No, I'm just sorting some stuff out. John Wick Chapter 4 has surpassed 300 million at the box office, and it hasn't even released in Japan yet. If you haven't seen the film, this is your spoiler alert. As Chapter 4 brings Keanu Reeves' front action franchise to a fittingly bloody conclusion. But does John Wick walk into the sunset? The unstoppable hitman that is Baba Yaga finally faces the music. The Baba but is he really dead? Let's explore the theories to the franchise from the shot fired from Kane into Mr. Wick and how fatal they really were as well as the open-ended finale. From Chapter 3 Parabellum Watch this scene. John arrives at the medic. After the knife wound he received from the assassin in the fight in the library, a non-fatal wound in his left shoulder at least 3 inches deep. And a few stitches and some pills later, John is back at doing what he does best. However, before he leaves, and to show to the high table that he forced his way in for using the services, he shoots the medic at two safe points, the shoulder and the abdomen. Reminiscent of anything? We see with the ending of chapter 4, John is shot in the exact two same places. Was that the plan? You're going to die. Maybe not. We already know that John and Kane are expert marksmen and proficient with their way around all types of weaponry. Whether it's using a stealth recon scout sniper or modifying a vintage Remington 1875 revolver. Or a pencil. Kane being blind also dispatches four or five mercenaries at point blank using a customized P365 SAS pistol. So we know his precision is also top notch. And with the outcome of the duel, the plan was clearly to take out the Marquis, knowing that his arrogance will get the better of him. The final battle takes place using ceremonial dueling pistols, to what appears to be reminiscent of Thompson Center Arms Encore pistols, using custom Silvercast 4570 government cartridges. However, all three gunshot wounds stop bleeding in their own time, and the final shot, the same spot the doctor had received. A cleverly orchestrated bit of directing, that not many members of the audience noticed. Yes, John Wick had been through a ton of brutality before that, three deadly falls, first being Bruce Lee at the nightclub, hitting a post on the way down, reminiscent of when Winston shot him off the New York Continental. One right out of a building, but The Rock survived that by just flexing his arm. That is not gonna work. And another down a flight of stairs a very long flight of stairs. But this is John Wick. And John Wick defeated the high table by playing by their rules. Our skill in the marquees in any other way would have brought up more Hydra heads. Just another one to replace it. And instead recognized as a saint by the assassin's world. And with the success of chapter four, Lionsgate could go green on chapter five after supposedly killing off the main character. It's what they did from Neo from the Matrix in Resurrections. Mr. Anderson! John has two personas, the Baba Yaga, the beloved husband. Though all we ever saw was the unstoppable hitman, his life as an assassin ended. As he ends chapter 4, only reminiscing his time with his late wife, whispering Helen, the end of his violent path is represented on his gravestone, where we can cut all ties with the assassin's world, including his dog being taken care of by the Bowery King. He has now found his resting place, the Baba Yaga is dead. Though Keanu Reeves stated in an interview that he will do a lot more dancing as John Wick in the ballerina. I mean, I, I do John Wick dancing. Yeah. And, uh... So, we will definitely get one more crack at the legendary hitman doing what he does best. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a bouncer. Ah! Thanks for watching and if you're liking the content, please like and subscribe.